You have an eye problem? Yeah. What is happening to your eye? I had um, cataract and now the doctor have to correct the squint. So you cannot see me? Well? Out, I can't see out of one eye. Huh? I cannot see out of one eye. You cannot see? Out of one eye. Out of one eye. Mm -hmm. So what is this glass doing? To um, block oh, the light. Because you cannot see the light. Mm -hmm. Father, let this eye be healed now. At the sound of my voice, Jesus, the chief physician, touch her eye and make her whole now. I curse every blindness. In Jesus' mighty name, you are healed. Amen. Examine yourself before you go. Look at the light without the glass. Can you see it? Do what you couldn't do before quickly. Huh? I can see it. Huh? I can see it. Amen. Huh? I can see the light. Do what you couldn't do before. I couldn't see the light before. No, just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do what you couldn't do before. Like I can see out of the eye. You can see. I couldn't see out of it before. Huh? I could not see anything out of it before. You couldn't see anything with it? No. Hallelujah. Are you here, Barbados? Hallelujah. Yeah. Did I pay you money to lie? No. <laughs> Is it the first time you see me? Yes. <laughs> because sometimes Facebook, they say, oh, he pay people. <laughs> me, I have money like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the first time you are here? Yes. You spoke to me time. before? No. You met me before? No. Now, is the eye seeing now? Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. No. Is the eye seeing now? Yes. Give her a book to read. I want to be sure the eye is seen. I want to be sure. Yeah, give her the Bible to read. Yeah. Read. <laughs> any, any, anything you see? Lord, remember David and all his afflictions, how he swore unto the Lord. Yes. Yes. Stand on your feet. Yes. Stop. Hallelujah. Praise yes. God. Ah, stand on your feet. I say, stand on your feet. Yes. Lift up your two hands. Shout hallelujah. Yes. You know what it means to have a cataract on your eyes? Yes. And you cannot see. Yes. And a pastor pray. Yes. And you can see. Yes. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How do you feel now? Happy, grateful. Huh? Happy and grateful. Come and give me a hand. Come and give me a hand. Come and give me a hand. <laughs> Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now let me anoint you. Father, make her complete. Yeah. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Amen. Next person. Wait. You see? No, when I was pouring the oil upon you, the Lord said I should tell you to pray for novelet. The Lord said pray for novelet. That's my sister. Huh? That's my sister in England. When I poured the oil upon her, the Lord said by this empowerment you just receive. Pray for novelet. And her daughter, Sabrina. Oh my God. Huh? Yes. Novelet has a daughter, Sabrina. Yes. <laughs> Her only child. Huh? Her only child. Her only child. Amen. You see, your family need prayer. That is why the Lord is raising you as an intercessor to stand in the gap for them. <laughs> yeah. Your family need, need somebody to stand in the gap to redeem the family from the power of darkness. This is the reason why the Lord is raising you. And this is the reason why you are in a church like this. Yes. Yeah. Glory. This is the reason. Yeah. This is the reason why you are in a church like this. Is there somebody like Danny or Denny? Denny or Danny? Danny. What's the name? Danny. Danny. Oh my God. And also Jane. Oh my Jane. God. 
Jane. That's my other sister in huh? Canada. That's my other sister in Canada. Jane. That Jane is who? My other sister in Canada. <laughs> She's very sick. Huh? She's very sick. Not only her, all of them are very sick. They need prayer. All of them. All of them are very sick. All of them are very sick. And this is the reason why the Lord is raising you. So you can stand in the gap for the family. Yeah. So you can stand in the gap for the family. Some of you, you are not in this church only for yourself. You are in this church for your whole family. Yeah. And you have to understand that we are not only serving God for ourselves. We are serving God for our entire family. Yes. Family, set off your hand towards her. Ah. Find a way to connect them so I can pray for them. Yeah. Father, we use her as a point of contact. And we pray for the family. Those in England. Those in Canada. Those in Jamaica. Father, let your banner be upon them. And at the sound of our voice, let every darkness over them disappear. Let there be light over the family. Let there be light over the family. Let there be light over the family. Let every forces of darkness be defeated. Let every power of darkness be defeated. I use you as a point of contact and I declare deliverance to your family, your brothers, and your sisters. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Family, put your hands together for Jesus. Next person. Your feet is feeling numb. For how long now? Maybe for since last year. Since last year? Yes. Your feet is, you are feeling numbness. Yes, it never used to be so, but I do acupuncture on my feet. And from the time I did it, I've been getting pains in my feet. Mm. Remove your glass. Let me take it, remove it. Yeah. Father, I curse this numbness in her body in the name of my lord and savior jesus christ of nazareth let this numbness go now in the name of jesus i declare you completely healed and loose in the mighty name of jesus let the healing power manifest now in your body and let the pain disappear let the pain go i cast this stroke I cast this numbness in your body in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Do your feet like this. Do your feet like this. Do like this. Do it. Look at me. Look at my face. Do like this. Move, move, move. Now examine yourself. Examine yourself quickly. Huh? Let you know Thursday night. Hold up. No, examine yourself now. I don't want Thursday. <laughs> huh? It's not there right now. So why you want to say Thursday? <laughs> because we're going to go home now. We see how it feels during the week. Ah. No. When you are coming, you couldn't even walk properly. And you say you are feeling numbness all over your body. And I pray for you. And I say, examine yourself. You say you have to go and come on Thursday. I do it now. Examine yourself. It start to feel better. No, the numbness is gone. Examine yourself. It's not there anymore. It's not there. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. She removed her shoe. Uh -huh. Walk around. Walk around and examine yourself. See the way she's modeling. <laughs> Somebody was coming like this. <laughs> it's, not there huh? it's not there anymore. So why you want to go and examine yourself and come and tell me on Thursday? Once you can be healed now. Okay. Is it, are you seeing it now? You can be healed now. But you are talking about Thursday. Yeah. Huh? Where did the movement just on my feet? Like, uh, the numbness is there or not? It's not there anymore. Okay, you are here. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Welcome to Mega Prophetic Ministry. We are prophetic. We are apostolic. We are a mega family.